Tuesday evening, everyone. How's it going? It's been a pretty good day today in the market. Coming to you quite a bit later than normal tonight, but this is No Edits Crypto, episode 148. Just before 10 p.m. Eastern Time here. So, uh, two stories, a uh, brief mention here about what's going on with me and uh, the uh, market update for today. The first story is that um, this kind of brings back memories of the of the uh, days of old in the cryptocurrency world and blockchain, uh, early Bitcoin uh, universe. But um, it's called uh, Honey Miner. Uh, this this new um, new app that's co that has come out for Windows based uh, compute computers, and it's. Um, this story is out of uh, CoinDesk. It's a new mining software that promises to let almost anyone earn small amounts of Bitcoin. As I said, it's uh, based for uh, Windows, laptops, giving users a taste of cryptocurrency's earliest days. Uh, revealed exclusively to CoinDesk, the New Jersey-based crypto mining startup HoneyMiner quietly launched a free beta in June and has already garnered 10,000 downloads across the globe. HoneyMiner allows users, users to participate in a dynamic mining pool by running the app when the computer's graphics uh, processing unit GPU isn't in use processing images or videos. The pool focuses on mining cryptos like Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Zcash, uh, Monero, and other GPU friendly currencies. Then at the end of the session, HoneyMiner sends the participants earnings converted into Bitcoin directly to the user's wallet. Uh, the miner doesn't have to do the math or manage all the configurations and settings or manually check the prices. Honey Miner advisor Noah jo Jasup, a venture capitalist at Founder Collective in San Francisco, told CoinDesk, We make it so that any surplus com compute, uh, so any laptop you aren't using all the way up to a rig that you run is automatically doing the most prof profitable computation. So this is pretty cool, uh, new application for Windows-based users. To earn a little bit of crypto, obviously it's not going to be a lot, but hey, why not earn a little bit of crypto in the background as long as you do your due diligence and make sure this uh, is uh, up to code, no pun intended. Second story today is South Korea's top telephone company. It's a state-backed owned KT corporation. Uh, the largest telephone company in uh, South Korea has announced the launch of blockchain-powered commercial network. This is out of Cointelegraph.com. The firm has built a blockchain layer on top of its existing nationwide network in order to make it more secure and transparent, according to an article by, article by the Korea Herald, published today. The news outlet reports the head of KT Blockchain Center, Sal Young-il, is saying that blockchain tech can be used in telecommunications for secure and efficient data management. Sal added the whole point of applying blockchain to networks is to address security and transaction issues by making the current uh, networks more secure and trusted. So uh, another example of South Korea and um, nation states getting involved in uh, blockchain, and this is specifically um, for the uh, tele telephone uh, company there in uh, South Korea. So just interesting to see all of these uh, countries finding ways to get involved in blockchain in pretty much every way possible now, it seems. Uh, to the market update here, Bitcoin is up almost 9% right now. It's at 8.66%. 8, 8 it was up just a little bit more than that a second ago uh, at $8,410. So we've seen almost a $700 rise since uh, this time yesterday. Ethereum is up 6.19% at $495.58. Great day for Ethereum after it has been kind of lagging behind. Uh, actually just jumped up to 9.47%. Uh, 9 so Ethereum really pumping up right now. Uh, Bitcoin Cash up 11.31% at $872. Uh, EOS up 10.3%. The entire market today has been on fire. EOS up uh, to $8.79 valuation. Litecoin, 8.14% up, $89.22. Litecoin starting to build its momentum. Monero up 10.66%, $148.71 USD. NEO up 7.56%, $34.63. 
dash of 5.78%, $254.95. And Steam, which has not had a particularly good week so far, is now up 6.56% at $1.42. So Steam starting to build up a little bit. But the big story is Bitcoin dominance is now up to 47.15%. And it, the total, the aggregate market cap now is over $300 billion. Um, 306 billion, 150 million, 581 thousand. So uh, the market really starting to take off now. Um, we we were hoping we see 8k this week, and now uh, we're hoping we see 9k this week. So uh, big big news here. The market really looking good. And in personal uh, news, I was on a conference call today about my book talking to another website about my book so hopefully uh, it's on that website soon I'll release more details if we finalize something uh, next week but um, good news overall in the cryptoverse if you haven't checked out my book yet please get in the description and check it out if you're on YouTube or I'm going to post it in the description today on um, Facebook and Steam everyone enjoy your Tuesday night what's left of it and um, I'll try to bring another episode tomorrow